Hey guys, welcome back. So as most of you know, I was just at New York Fashion Week and I saw this gorgeous hairstyle done at the Rebecca Minkoff show and I was totally inspired to recreate this look for you guys. Tresemme created this beautiful bohemian-like braided crown to go with the designer's new spring collection which was heavily inspired by strong Latin American women like Frida Kahlo and Bianca Jagger. And I love braided hairstyles because firstly, it just looks super cute and secondly, it really keeps the hair nice and pulled back throughout the day. So here is my interpretation of the look, so it's not exactly the same but definitely inspired by the show. And I would totally wear this hairstyle out for a lunch day or to go shopping with friends, so I'm also going to show you the outfit I would wear with this look. So I hope that you guys enjoy and let's begin! So the first thing that you want to do is of course brush through all your hair because we're going to be braiding it so you want to make sure there aren't any knots. Then I'm taking this Fresh Start Dry Shampoo and spraying that into my roots to build some volume and remove any oil. And this will also provide the hair with some nice texture and grip for when we're going to be braiding the hair. And then I'm just going to work that into the hair and you can give yourself a little head massage here too. Next, I'm just taking my brush and I'm going to create a center part, but if your hair naturally falls better in the middle part, then that's fine too, but I just have these bangs, so I have to make sure that it's in the center part. And then just using this comb, I'm going to divide the rest of my hair in two. So now I'm just starting by tying up one of the sections so it stays out of the way, and then I'm going to start braiding. You want to make sure that the braid starts at the very bottom of your head and try to make it as tight as possible if you have layers in your hair especially to prevent them from flicking out. I suggest using a clear elastic to secure the ponytail but I didn't have any and I couldn't find them at my pharmacy so I'm using the next best option which is this thinner elastic which matches my hair color. But if you're able to get your hands on some clear elastic, I would definitely recommend that. So now moving on to the next side, I'm first going to be flipping my bangs over again just to keep those out of the way and then do exactly the same thing. So making sure the braid starts at the very bottom of your head and making it as tight as possible. So once that's done, it should look something like this. Pipa long stocking anyone? Alright, so now we're going to be attaching this braid to the top of your head. So first, play around with the position of the braid. So make sure that it's kind of where you want it to be and then grab some bobby pins and just start pinning that braid into your hair. And you can pin the braid in the middle of the braid, you can pin it at the very end. Just make sure that it's nice and securely fastened to your head. So it's going to take about, I'd say, five to seven, eight bobby pins to really get this braid down. So make sure that you have ample amount of bobby pins around. And then for the second braid, you want to make sure that you're covering the ends of the hair from the first braid. So place the second braid on top of that chunk of hair and then try to disguise the um, meeting of the two braids in a way. And you'll be seeing me remove one of those elastics in just a little bit because it kind of started to annoy me. But just try to get both of those braids nice and fastened to your head. And then I'm going to take this super cute headband, which I love, I've had it for years, this is from Forever 21, and I'm just going to place that right in front of the braid, and it kind of gives it this more like glamorous touch, and I think it's really cute next to the, like, the bohemian braid, I like the contrast between the two. And then as I said, that little elastic at the very top just really started to annoy me. So I took a pair of scissors, just cut the elastic open, and then repinned it with some bobby pins. The next step is to set this with a touch of hairspray. And here I'm using the Salon Finish Spray, which provides exactly the same results as the US version called Ever Classic Trez 2 Hairspray. And this will just help reduce the amount of little flyaways from popping up from the braid throughout the day. So here is the hair, and I think it's so, so cute. I'm so happy that I saw this. So now let me show you what I would wear for my outfit. But before we get into the outfit, the lipstick I was wearing was just not working for me. So I decided to change it, and instead I put on this really cute like baby doll matte pink lipstick. Alright, so now let's move on to the outfit. 
So I'm wearing this super pretty black and white floral printed jacket from Primark which I thought just went perfectly with the hair because it's kind of girly yet casual. And then for accessories I'm just wearing two big bangles and no necklace because I already have a lot of bling on my head. So keeping it simple. And then my top is from Zara and just matches perfectly with the black and white jacket and I love the way it just skims over the body. And then I just paired that with my black skinny jeans which are so soft and comfy. And then I went for this little black and gold purse which I felt again had this really cute like bohemian yet glamorous touch to it. And of course, I can't leave the house without some great smelling perfume and this has been one of my favorites recently. It's called Flower Bomb and it's by Victor and Rolf. And then for my nails, I'm wearing this gorgeous deep red color called Malaga Wine by OPI. And there you have the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed that, maybe got inspired. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye guys!